The mod I'm going to introduce to you today is the Papyrus Tweaks NG mod. Since it is a script engine related mod, it may be difficult for you to understand its functionality. I also read the description and carefully produced the video to deliver accurate information to you as much as possible. It's a difficult topic, so please follow along. Papyrus Tweaks NG Mod is a collection of fixes, tweaks and performance improvements for Skyrim script engine. 100% configurable. And install, uninstall anytime. But this does not increase or decrease FPS at default settings. Each of these settings can be configured in papyrustweaks.ini. Config file will auto-regenerate if missing. In the world of Skyrim, you can't see scripts, but a lot of things are already made up of scripts, and you're using a lot of scripts. Moreover, if you are already using a lot of scripting mods then you may already be using more scripts without you even knowing it. Indeed, scripts are like air in the Skyrim universe. But what if these scripts are not optimized and there are many bugs? Papyrus Tweaks NG mod fixes bugs for the script engine. The toggle scripts command pauses all scripts, but doesn't persist when saving or stack dumping. This fixes that. Fixes the papyrus engine unintentionally allocating memory with a negative page size in some circumstances. Tweaks are optional improvements to the script engine's performance or logging. The Papyrus engine was designed to be able to run on a computer that was considered mediocre in 2011. This never got updated with SE. Hence Papyrus is limited to 100 operations per task. On newer machines this number can be set much higher without any noticeable impact on frame rate while having potentially much higher performance. It increases the script workload by 5 times by default, and I think that it is one of the core features of this mod that you can modify it arbitrarily. Set to zero to disable this tweak. Scripts should not always look at the contents of the data file, and should rely on properties as the interface they use to access data from the data file. So get form as a function that is only used for debugging purposes. A lot of mods use the game, get form from file function to check if a mod is installed and dynamically adapt their behavior. So it is not an error if that function does not find the requested file. This tweak suppresses the error message. Papyrus Tweaks NG mod can improves, cannot bind script name to object because base types do not match, to distinguish the type of script, and if the script is genuinely not compatible, or if the script doesn't exist. Papyrus Tweaks adds a lot of extra information to the argument mismatch error log, such as function names, expected versus actual argument types, to make debugging these errors much easier. Sometimes when mods get updated some properties will be removed from their scripts, because the mod author no longer deemed them necessary. This will cause an error message in the log saying that property no longer exists. This can be intended by the mod author, and this tweak suppresses the message. Sometimes when mods get updated some scripts will be removed, because the mod author no longer deemed them necessary. In vanilla this will cause an error message in the log saying that the saved script can no longer be found. This can be intended by the mod author, however, By default a stack dump occurs when the script engine is overstressed for 5 seconds, 5000 milliseconds straight. This often happens when adding or removing a lot of items at once. Contrary to popular belief the stack dump itself is actually harmless, but it will cause a lot of entries in the papyrus log. This tweak changes how long the machine can be stressed before stack dumping. The experimental feature is disabled by default. 
It has not been fully tested and may have side effects, so please enable this feature if you can afford it. In fact, I wanted to add more explanations, but it seems that it is no longer possible to explain this complex papyrus with my abilities, and it seems impossible to shoot a video explaining this. However, since experimental is a feature that has not been tested yet, I will omit the description of this part. I'm so sorry. Thank you very much for watching until the end of the lacking video. However, subscription like notification setting is very helpful for channel growth. The voice and subtitles of this video were created based on the creator's description. Have a good day.